Good day everyone. This is the day four for SCF one. So um philosophical and social anthropological foundations of physical education. Okay, for our lesson four. Physical education in modern Europe. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to A. Identify the contributions of various men and countries of the modern Europe to the growth and development of physical education which have influenced the changing concepts of it, of this field. Now, let's start first in Germany in 1774. We have first Johann Bernard Basido, but some pronounce this as Basido, but I prefer Basido. Johann Bernard Basedo established Philanthropinum, the first school in Europe to offer PE as part of curriculum. Kasi nga, nung Dark Ages, di ba, nagkaroon ng decline in the use of PE. So, as under the Renaissance period, as it gave birth, or as it is rebirthed or rebir reborn, so, si Johann Bernard Basedo ang nag -establish ng philanthropinum ang um, first school na nagkaroon ng PE as part of the curriculum so dito na nagkaroon ng um, academical weight yung curriculum na yung PE so next we have Johann Frederick Gutz Mutz so same Johann pa rin succeeded Christian Karl Andre as the instructor of the Schneffental Education Institute. Same pero sa Germany. So, si Christian Karl Andre ang teacher ni Johann Frederick Gatz Mutz. So, after, maybe, we don't know if pumanaw ba, after, um, umalis maybe, si Christian Karl Andre. So, ang nagmana ng Schneffental Education Institute is si Johann Frederick Gatz Mutz. And, Johann Frederick Gatz Mutz often referred to one of the founder of modern PE. So, the modern PE, yung PE na ginagamit na natin ngayon. Uh, one of the founder lang ha, hindi siya mismo yung founder. So, ulitin ko. So, ang teacher niya dito is si Christian Carl Andre. So, to proceed. We have Frederick Ludwig John. Kung kanina, uh, we have Johann Bernard Basedo and Johann Frederick Katzmus, si Frederick naman. Frederick eh, Ludwig John established Terverein, an association of gymnastics, gymnasts, that exists today. So, ito yung pinaka main, isa sa pinaka-major na contribution niya sa PE. Yung pag-establish ni Frederick Ludwig John ng Terverein. Um, there are people who pronounce this as Ludwig, but there are some Ludwig to proceed. Adolf Spice. Now, Adolf Spice founded school of gymnastics in Germany and believe that the school should be interested in the total growth of the child mentally, emotionally, physically, and socially. And PE should receive same consideration as other subjects. Um, dito sa point ni Adolf Spice, parang din siyang aspects and goal of PE also para din siyang um, related sa broader perspectives of health na kung saan um, you need to grow or you need to develop your mental side, emotional side, physical side plus the social side or the way you socialize and PE should receive same consideration as other subjects as other philosophies of education um Parang yung PE, parang under siya sa pragmatism as we receive products on different um, disciplines plus exercises and also practices, di ba? And then, essentially, same, kung saan basics lang yung importante. So, dito parang binigyan ng point ni Adolf Spice ang pragmatism na kailangan um, the PE should receive the same attention and consideration as other subjects na hindi lang siya PE lang that we can also be uh, or the PE can also be an interdisciplinary subject to which it can be tawag nito 
utilize sa other subjects like science or pwede um, AP or Aralpan in the history of war, yung parang ganon. So, interdisciplinary or intersubject, kumbaga. Anyway, to proceed, we have Sweden. Now, in Sweden, we have first Per Henrik Ling. Per Henrik Ling make PE assigns and develop the Royal Central Institute of Gymnasts where educators receive training. He utilized anatomy and physiology to receive such things as the effects of exercise on different organs and system of the body. Kasi noon, um, to study anatomy, um, parang kailangan mo pa ng specimen na patay. So, to study kailangan mo i-open yung laman, um, yung chan, mag-dissect, to see the organs and how it functions. Pero si, ang ginawa ni Per Hendrik Ling, parang, you can use PE, uh, literally, sa science, diba? So, isa lang sa example dito yung anatomy and physiology. So, sa physiology, literally naman na uh, yung functions mo, um, functions ng physical body mo. And then, sa anatomy naman, there are, yun nga, sabi ko kanina, diba? There are some scientists na they want to study the body bare, kung saan gusto nila na makita talaga yung mga laman loob. And then, kay Per Henrik Ling naman, uh, he determines the function of the organ na buhay pa yung tao. So, kaya related, or nirelate niya yung anatomy and physiology. And also before, they think that PE is only a training, exercise, or an activity. But then, Per Henrik Ling give way to PE as it is also a science. Like literally, physical education is also a science. Kasi nga, physiology, anatomy, that's one. We have biomechanics. We also have, yung, kapag related na siya sa health. So, maraming, ano, maraming branches of science na pwede mag-relate sa PE. Anyway, Gustav de Blaise became the administrator of the RCI, or yung Royal Institute, uh, Royal Central Institute, and women were admitted for the first time. Kasi noon, eh, there is parang stigma na yung PE ay para lang sa mga boys. Kasi literally parang yung boys na sa training, uh, sa war, sa exercises. So, parang privilege lang siya for, for boys. Same nga doon sa Athens, di ba? Parang may differences ang activity ng boy and girl. So, pang domestic lang doon ang girl and then ang boy doon sa field. So, anyway, so, kay Gustav ni Blaise naman. So, as he became the administrator of the RCI, and then, binigyan niya ng way or ng right yung mga women para makapunta, makapunta or makapasok sa RCI. Maybe as a scholar, it can be a teacher, or anyone who wants to learn. And now, in 1820 and 1886, law was passed requiring PE course on secondary level. Lard, uh, <laughs> anyway, so yun nga, in 1820 and 1886, yung, yung, um, law kung saan ni require na magkaroon ng physical education sa secondary level or literally kung sa atin dito high school. So, yun yung ginagawa sa atin ngayon. Now, we also have Lars Gabriel Branting, once weak but treated through gymnastics treatment. With his excellence, he became the successor of Ling or Per Hendrik Ling and developed more physiotherapy as well as enhancing Ling's work. So, there is a story kasi sa background ni Lars Gabriel, Mar <laughs> Lars Gabriel Branting, kung saan masyado siyang weak noon. And then, through physical treatment, like literal, doon sa gymnastics. So, na-treat siya and na-develop yung katawan niya. And then, dahil sa good feedback or good results... Um, dahil excellent siya doon, he became the successor of Ling, kung saan yung RCI, or the Real, Real, Royal Central Institute of Gymnastics, ay pinamana or binigay kay Ralph Gabriel Branting, kung saan siya yung para naging head or your principal ng school. And then after that, um, he also developed more physiotherapy, um, works, books, and also um, talk dito, evidences especially enhancing Ling's work. So, ganun niya ka-love and ganun niya ka 
nire-respect to si Per Henry Kling as not only his teacher, not only his doctor, but also as a friend. So now, we have Ilmar Frederick Ling. We have a lot of Ling. Um, develop gymnastics without apparatus. So, di ba merong um, part or type of gymnastics na walang apparatus literally? So, you're only doing uh, footworks, um, routines, executions, na uh, ikaw lang mismo sa isang part ng field. Or halimbawa, um, floor exercise. But, the other topic for gymnastics will be discussed more on other subjects hindi dito but then I can give that a name that's aerobic gymnastics I guess yeah I'm sure with that anyway so now we have Denmark Franz Nachtegal helped to introduce PE in public schools of Denmark and establish first outdoor gymnasium devoted to physical training that's Franz Nachtegal we also have Neil's book developed the concept of primitive gymnastics to build perfect physique. Part of gymnastics pa rin siya, pero they are using more on the primitive type or the primitive trainings in the exercises. Now, lastly, in Great Britain, we also have Archibald, Archibald McLaren wanted to make PE as a science and in 1860 designed a system of PE for British Army. Um... So, for the British or the Royal Army, so, ginawa ni Archibald McLaren, naggumawa siya ng system to make PE or exercises and trainings para sa mga British Army or the Royal British Army. So, now, in the U.S. Civil War period until 1990, Modern Olympics was established by Paro, Baron Pierre de Coubertin, the Modern Olympics to which, uh, what we're using now. First Modern Olympics was held in Athens with 28 events. And now in early 20th century, we also have Thomas Denison who founded Natural Gymnastics. So that's for now and then wait for your activity. So see you next video.